Hi, my name's Charles and welcome back to my shop. Today the video that we're doing here, the work we're doing in the shop, is sort of the care and feeding of your Hardinge uh, Sogren Collet Chuck. Now this is one that, um, in another video, I've just made this uh, D14 backplate to adapt this D16 Chuck to my lathe, which takes the D14, uh, has a cam lock spindle D14. So I've already taken the bolts out of it and got it loosened up. Let me move the uh, camera in closer. We'll take a look at what's inside and how these operate. Then I'll clean everything up and then we'll uh, get ready for a reassembly. Okay, so like I said, I've already uh, got pulled the bolts out of it. The, this particular one takes four uh, through the face and uh, loosened it all up. So let's just pull the back off of it here. So what you'll see, and I've already done a little bit of cleanup in this, but uh, we got a couple of hardened pins that these little gears run on, and then we got a big gear in the center that's um, got the collet thread. So when you spin the outer ring to uh, tighten or loosen the collet, that's all it does is work those gears. Now kind of the most critical thing, not really at this point, but just in general, is the big gear is marked and the two little gears are marked. They just have a little pin punch mark. So when you go to reassemble, you have to line all those marks back up or the, the chuck won't work correctly. Well, let's just finish taking it apart here. So we have a felt seal here. We have a felt seal here. And we have a little bearing race down here. And we have the two small gears. And we have the big gear ring. And that's it. That's uh, all there is for parts inside of these things. So uh, you can see this one's had grease in it, but it's quite old and very black and needs to be uh, completely cleaned and, and re-greased and reassembled. So let me uh, get all these parts cleaned up and we'll reassemble it. Okay, we're back with our nice uh, clean parts now. Um, the spec that I found online in a sort of a care and use manual from Hardinge for these chucks is just to use a general purpose grease. Uh, through the grease dirt once in a while. So uh, I'm just going to use what I have on hand, which is uh, an EP grease and extreme pressure grease. This is uh, just a Walmart brand. It's what I have in my grease guns. It's what I use in my equipment. So it's what I have on hand. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to start with the small uh, gears here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a little uh, punch mark on this, on one tooth. And then on the big gear, you have these zeros um, so those that need to line up so first we're just going to give a little a little grease down in here where the gear runs get our punch mark over into the center And then down on the bottom here, we have this uh, the bearing race that sits down in there. So I'm going to pack that with, with grease. This was actually the hardest thing to clean was all the old grease down in here. Um, it was packed down in there and dried out. And then we have this thrust ring. The hardened ring that runs down there on top of those. And then our main uh, our main gear goes in. Now this has a felt seal down here in the bottom and a felt seal back against this end. Um, I don't have any replacement felt. This one came out pretty easy, but this one didn't. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't have any replacement felt. It does have a little notch in it right there. But uh, so we need a little bit of, of grease down on the bottom for that. And it has a little 
like relief groove around there that had grease in it. So I'm just going to fill that back up with some grease there. And then just want to make sure our marks all line up. Push that down in there. And next our hand wheel goes on, so we need to, to grease all the uh, teeth on that a little bit. Again, I don't think it takes a whole lot. You know, this is only operated by hand. So... Put a little bit around and just pull it back out. Get those teeth greased up pretty well. Some on our packing. And then I want to put some down in here where the small pieces of the gear run and on the posts that they run on. And then the grease zerts in, in this hole here, I can feel it on the bottom side. So I know this dark mark here uh, was where the grease zert was. So that's the orientation I want to put it back together. Oops. Flip it over and put our bolts in it.
All right, now I wasn't able to find a specific bolt torque um, recommended by Hardinge for the chuck, but for this size bolt, I think you're somewhere around probably 80 foot pounds, something like that. So uh, it'd be easier to do once it's mounted in the lathe. So I'm going to go do that, but that's really all there is for the care and feeding of uh, your chuck. I'm probably also going to give it a shot or two of grease just to make sure that that area, I cleaned all the old grease and everything out behind the zert, make sure that area is all full. And uh, she's ready to go back into service. That's it.